four-time U.S. Olympian, but currently she's not fighting for a spot in the podium. She's fighting breast cancer and still training for the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. We've been following her story the last few years through some incredibly difficult moments, including surviving cancer. And, and oh my gosh, she was so emotional and comical and really pulled at our heartstrings. I would highly recommend her for any speaking engagement. Imagine witnessing a moment so monumental that it completely alters the entire trajectory of your life. Well, that's exactly what happened to me when I was four years old. I was watching the Olympics for the very first time and I see this woman on my screen by the name of Flojo. Now she has this long flowing hair, these gorgeous nails that were red, white, and blue, and the muscles in her legs allowed me to see for the first time that strength was gorgeous. Because a lot of people have a dream at four years old, but they forget it somewhere at 14. How have you, how did you manage to keep that dream close so that you could actually pursue it? Well, from that point on, from four all the way until I had my first opportunity to try out when I was 20, yeah. that was everything I ate, slept, drank, was like becoming an Olympian. Life hasn't always been easy for Shantae and the playing field hasn't always been level. Yet, through it all, she's taken the high road, she's taken joy in every competition. And for the first time, I felt strong enough to say, whoa, no, no. And I just remember just yelling, no, this is not acceptable. And I began to realize I had to fight. Not for myself, but for these women, for these men, for your mothers, for your children, for your sisters, and for your daughters. That sharing the story of my diagnosis would have led to my story reaching the ears and eyes of almost 300 million people and that is the power of sharing your story for me a thriver is someone who chooses to find the beauty yeah. in this process allow it to take place and move forward to help others find that beauty in this process as well and i thank you so much for listening today